All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy, Akeen, and welcome to today's Scout Report. Now, for the past two weeks, quarterback Tom Savage from Pittsburgh has been climbing up a lot of draft boards, drawing a lot of attention due to his big arm ability and strong presence inside of the pocket. He even earned an invite for the 2014 NFL Draft, but decided to decline. Now, I think that was the right choice. I do not see him as a day one pick, but possibly a day two pick. Now, let's talk a little bit about him. He's actually hailing from Springfield, Pennsylvania, and he was a journeyman throughout his career in college football, starting his career as a as a, as a Rutgers Scarlet Knight, and he was a true fret and as a true freshman, he was the team's offensive MVP, in which he passed for over 2,200 yards, 14 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. I think he showed a lot of potential as a true freshman, but entering his sophomore season, he's been dealing with some injuries, which actually had him sidelined and replaced by quarterback Chase Todd, which 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 means he decided to um, make his first transfer and head to Arizona and he actually had to sit out his first year in 2011 but then the announcement of Rich Rodriguez becoming the new head coach for the Wildcats that actually changed his uh, Savage's decision and decided to transfer again and then he headed to Pittsburgh then had to sit out another year did not really have an opportunity to play until last season in which he passed for just under on 3,000 yards 21 touchdowns and nine interceptions and his biggest performance was against a good Duke team who made it to the ACC championship in which he displayed six touchdown passes and 424 yards passing in that particular game and he did draw a lot of attention after that key matchup. Now let's talk a little bit about his strengths and weaknesses. Now he has a good, big and tall frame at 6'4", 228 pounds. Now he also, like I mentioned before, he displays a strong arm and he can make just about all the throws you need in which he's, he throws a quick and fluid motion. It's actually um, leading his receivers and hitting his targets pretty well. Now he does exhibit strong pocket presence, which I mentioned earlier, and good poise. And he also has light feet for a man his size in which he uses them well to elude and evade a lot of uh, would-be tacklers and still keeping his eyes down the field. Now, I do like his value. He also um, 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 has the escapability to even run the ball down the field. He does run a 5-flat 40, not too fast, but enough for him to move when he needs to. And like I mentioned before, he um, he does well as far as his, his accuracy in leading his receivers in any type of routes, slant routes, out routes, and particularly crossing routes. He does pretty well in being a little bit accurate in crossing routes. Now, his weak Weaknesses. I mentioned his accuracy. Now, overall, his career, he had a 56.8% career on um, passing accuracy. But for this past season, he did raise it up to 61.2. But so accuracy is not great, but it's not too bad. Um, Another thing, he must learn how to read and, 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 and understand how to make better decisions before he makes passes. Sometimes he might decide where he's going to throw to before the, the play um, develops. And he also needs to work on maneuvering defensive backs to, in order to have openings for his receivers. He needs to create better openings for his receivers and actually shifting his eyes down the field. Sometimes he should look left and then turn right to, uh, to, to, to his following target. Also, he doesn't really have too much experience. He only had a couple Good, good years his freshman and senior year but then he had that big gap in between years for playing football so his, his experience is, isn't really uh, completely what you're looking for but he does have a, good, a lot of good intangibles now overall the thing that I do concern most about him is his overall commitment to a team in football in general with all the transferings that he's been doing that shows that he's not too much of a competitor I think he should have stayed at Rutgers and competed against Chase Dodd and that was still his job to lose which he did lose due to an injury and speaking of injuries, he had a he had a couple of fractured ribs um, during 2013, so durability could be a little bit of a concern. But I still think his overall commitment was in big question because of the two transfers he decided to do instead of staying in to compete. That was just a little bit of a concern for me and a big red flag in my personal opinion. So overall for his his numbers and his his grade, I think he's a good third round pick. I do not see him as a round round first round or second round pick. I do understand why a team might go for him in the second round, but he wasn't too impressive enough to wow me into getting in, into a second round pick. I think he could be a good mid third round pick, a, a, a day two type pick. I think he's a good court, a decent quarterback overall, but he hasn't proven enough to me to be a first or second round pick, and I don't think he deserved to be to receive that invite for this year's NFL draft. But 
A, I, I see things differently compared to other scouts and other reporters. Now, next time I'm going to catch you guys is later on today. I'm going to continue things on with my first round mock draft with pick number 20 belonging to the Arizona Cardinals. Thank you for watching this blog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.